What is happening everybody? Gary here coming at you with another video. Well, today we are trying a different clear in a can. This is the Spray Max 2-pack clear coat, which this has a hardener actually inside of the can. Uh, stumbled onto this stuff as I was uh, thumbing through the AutomotiveTouchUp.com site and thought, hey, that's actually a pretty cool idea. Because usually what I've been doing is I'll touch up the spot with just a little spray can and then I'll come back and clear coat it with my gun. But uh, since my spray can videos are all the rage and uh, it's my most viewed thing on there, I thought I'd go back to uh, what got me started here in the first place. So this is a clear coat in a can that actually has a hardener in it. What you do is put this little red uh, cap, I guess, thing on here and pop that in and uh, give her a good shake, rattle and roll and you have yourself a professional style 2K clear coat rather than the lacquer stuff that's uh, out of the U-Pole can. Now, I did say before that the U-Pole was a urethane-based product. I was misinformed at the time because I was just kind of getting hip to that stuff. It's actually a clear coat that can go over a urethane-based coat. It's not a urethane product itself. So. We're gonna bring you out to that Scion door that I'm just about to clear coat with this stuff and give this stuff a whirl and see what it's all about. Okay, here's the driver's door off the uh, Scion Only XB. the color is right in here. And it looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do, kick you up on the stand here. I'm gonna shake up the can as per the instructions and then pop the hardener, start shaking that up for a few more minutes as per the instructions, and uh, we'll give it a spray. Okay, been shaking it for a few minutes. Now we're going to take that uh, red cap, put it on the bottom, and pop it. Just like that. And I guess we uh, shake that for a little while longer.
All right, there is our three coats of clear coat on our Scion XB um, with the Spraymax 2K clear in a can. Um, yeah, that stuff surprised me a little bit. It got away from me on the very first coat and I ended up getting some sags in there. So, uh, you know, unfortunately I will be doing some color sanding and buffing tomorrow. But uh, other than that, I think it's pretty easy to use. You pop the little red cap thing in there and give it a good shake for a minute or two and you're off and running and uh, you don't have a gun to clean up. I think that thing is uh, convenient once you get used to it um, in that one little area where I had the the sags in it that's where I was kind of getting a little too close and I sprayed a little too slow but the uh, rest of the door seems like it's going to be just fine I just have to spot buff those little uh, uh, areas where I got the sags in it and I'll show you that uh, a little bit later and uh, yeah, other than that, I think I can rein my verdict on it. I like the product. I think it's a very smart idea. And um, as if I'm going to be doing door blends or uh, just bumper repairs, I think I'm going to be using uh, that spray can method from now on rather than mixing it up and spraying it into my gun and, you know, all that other stuff. So that way I can keep the cost down for my customers and they can still get a professional quality repair. So uh, yeah guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Um, got any questions on it, do let me know. Leave it in the comment sections below. You can feel free to email me, whichever way you want to go about it. If you wish to connect with me socially, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Tumblr, and Blogger, which all the respective links can be found down below. Do hit that thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel for some more automotive related videos. And like always, take care, stay safe. See you next time.